Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. A couple of people have been asking me how I actually raised the fry, so I thought I'd do a quick video about it. Once you're fortunate enough that you've got a pair of cichlids and they've actually bred and you've decided that you want to raise some of the youngsters, the best thing to do is to actually take some of the wrigglers out of the tank and actually put them into their own separate tank. As you can see here, this is some of the ventratus, the, the, the pink variety. So this is some of the, uh, the, the fry that I actually took out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I've put them into a small tank to raise on. So the next question is, what do you feed the cichlids, uh, the cichlid fry? Bear in mind, they have got really, really small mouths and you need to get food into them as quick as possible. At first, when they first hatch, you do have the egg sacs, so you don't need to worry about them for the first couple of days. After that, the best thing to feed them on is baby brine shrimp. This is a baby brine shrimp hatchery that I picked up off Amazon a couple of months ago. It cost about £20 for the actual kit itself. And what you need to do then is to get some baby brine shrimp eggs and some salt. Lucky enough, JBL actually do a, an Artemo mix which includes the brine shrimp eggs and the salt. This is the hatchery and this is the JBL uh, mix. So as you can see, it's got the salt and the eggs mixed into it. So this is the easiest way to do it. So the first thing that you need to do is actually fill it up to the line with warm water. Again, the easy way to do this, just take the water out of the aquarium. So you fill it up to the full line, which is round about here. It's quite difficult to do when you're holding the camera, I haven't realised. <laughs> See, you fill it up to the fill line and what you need to do then is put two of the measuring spoons of the Artemis mix into it. As you can see here I put the white little plastic uh, guard into it and I've put the, the two teaspoons of the salt and brine shrimp eggs. Next thing to do is to put the top on it. Now there is a little mark if you can see there um, and there's a little um, whatever you call it there so it's important not to get those two together because light will get into it and it's the light that actually attracts the eggs once they hatch and brings them to the centre there's also a little scooping uh, whatever you call it um, which has got like a little net bottom so you can place that into the centre what will happen once the eggs hatch, they're drawn by the light into the, the little scooper and then you can feed them directly into the, uh, to the, uh, to the baby fry. It takes about 36 hours to hatch, um, but you can actually feed them several times during the day. So every couple of hours, if, if you so wished, you can come down and actually scoop out more of them. Uh, so we've put this on now, so we'll leave it for 36 hours and I'll show you how it's actually hatched and how to feed it to the, to the fry. Here we are, it's about 36 hours later uh, and as you can see the baby brown shrimp, it's hatched, it's been drawn by the light and it's actually in the scoop. So what we've got to do, get out the scoop, drain some of the salt water off. And feed it to the fry so it's like liquid gold for fry this there we go straight in the tank put the scoop back in and in about three or four hours that'll be full again um, so you can do this a few times uh, like over, over the next day um, and you get caught quite a bit um, and so 
we are. You, you can see the, the, the fry going at it. This is a the Nicky like a Gwen's fry, this one. So if you've only got a small amount of fry to feed, these are uh, these hatcheries are ideal. Obviously, if you want to feed more, um, you're better off uh, with the bigger brown shrimp hatcheries, or you can make your own out of uh, out of two litre coke bottles. But I mean, the, the eggs are really, really expensive now. Here we go. They're, they're all going after the. Uh, the brown shrimp. So as I say the hatchery itself costs about £20 off Amazon and the Artemo mix costs about £10. So where we're up to then, the the, um, the, the eggs have actually hatched and um, the, the fry have had the, the yolk sacs which is consumed. Uh, you feed them on the baby brown shrimp for a, for a few days um, until they've actually got a little bit of growth and what I actually feed them on then is frozen cyclops. So you feed them on these for a, again for a few days. And I'll just show you these ones feeding. You can actually feed them on the, the frozen cyclops for, well, for as long as you want really, a good few weeks. Um, just, um, just melt this one into the tank. As you can see, they, they know what it is and they're all coming over to feed. Um, yeah, so they're, they're all filling the bellies. <laughs> Another thing that I actually do is um, with, with uh, the, the flake food, so you actually crush the flake food up into a small powder. As you can see here. Uh, and then I feed them on the, on the crushed up flake food um, for a good few weeks. Uh, it's also important as well, um, because they're in a small tank, to actually do uh, regular water changes. So what I tend to do with the fry, you'll get three or four 30% uh, water changes a week. Um, this way, so with a lot of food and a lot of water changes, they actually do grow uh, quite quickly. So the stand deck that I fry, as I say, they're about four weeks old at the minute and they're about ready now to move on to the bigger tank. Uh, put them in the bigger tank, obviously there's a lot more water in there and it doesn't encourage the, the growth. This is one of the, the, uh, the, the grow out tanks that I actually use. Uh, it's a three foot tank, so it's about it's about 40 UK gallons. Um, there's a few different species of grow oats in here at the moment. Uh, there's the minor eye that are just over three months old. There's the cutter eye that are about two months old. And there's the Neotropolis, which again are about three months old. Uh, as I say, because there's a lot of water volume in here, even though there is a lot of fish, you do get a decent uh, growth rate out of them. So all in all, it, it probably takes me about four months from when the eggs hatch to when they're of a size that you can actually move them on. Um, so what size should the fish be before you actually move them on? Uh, a good friend of mine actually told me years and years ago, uh, you can tell when they're a good size because if they're of a size that you'd be happy to buy them in a the shop, which is probably about one and a half to two inches, that's about the sort of size that you should be taking them to, uh, to the shops or the, the fish club auctions. So I hope you enjoyed that video, a uh, little instruction video as to how I actually raise the fry uh, and get them to the size where I can actually move them on. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, click the bell notification to be informed of when the next videos go up. And if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my very, very best to answer them all. See you all again soon.